hello students this video is a continuation of the previous uh, video where we have solved from 1 to 7 and in this we will start from question number 8 like all our videos I would say that if you need the complete uh, study material and uh, complete lecture series you can contact to the numbers in the description given below okay we will our executives will obviously help you and if you need any other help so you can call as well or you can also whatsapp okay now coming to today's question a spherical okay now this one is important a spherical let me use a uh, different color which one will remove okay let me use this green okay so a spherical closed container with smooth inner wall okay obviously it has to have smooth inner wall contains monoatomic ideal gas now this one is the first clue in the if the if the collisions between the wall and the atoms are elastic the maxwell speed distribution function dnv by dn for the atoms is basically represented by which graph so it's a graph will represented of maxwell speed distribution so here the most possible diagram will have the structure in maxwell theory let me tell you the atoms acquire maximum velocity atoms max velocity and import to other atoms by electric collisions and again their velocity decreases so first there should be a diagram so their velocity will first increase they go to the max this is the max level and then they start falling again okay sorry like this and after a certain point of time it will reach to zero so if I go with the pattern, so the only diagram is this. Now the, these are these two are wrong. This one this seems to be the closest one. But the seamlessly we can say that here the basic speed starts from zero. So u has to be zero. So which only resembles to this. So option C is our correct answer. So this may be confusing, but fortunately most of the cases the structured answer is based on the analysis okay and this one here we have a diagram again so two sinusoidal signals of frequencies and they are wx and wy having the same amplitude are applied to x and y channels of a cathode ray oscilloscope okay so there are two channels wx and wy okay the following stationary figure will be observed so here it's actually have they could have used one for this color and one for this okay yeah and wall are unitary so if you draw a line like this so these are all unitary structure so as a question the following stationary figure will be observed when with respect to the values that omega y x equal to omega y or omega y equal to 2 into omega x or phase difference is 0 and phase difference pi by 2 so remember that when the phase difference between sinusoidal signals is zero okay when there's phase difference equal to zero between sinusoidal liquids the superposition of signals will produce figure in the given question okay so this is only possible if the phase difference is zero that is by this now, if there is a phase difference is not there so they may produce a diagram like this or maybe like this so there won't be inequality okay so this is possible when the phase there is no phase difference and that's why you can see it by this particular boxed format okay now can proceed to the next question over here next question is about the phase difference again the phase difference they have gamma okay this is delta between input and output voltage for the following circuit one and two so we can see two circuits over here so in circuit one the phase difference produced by the condenser c if we take that this is the condenser condenser c will be reversed to another condenser c okay so this one so v0 and v1 will be in the same phase so v0 v1 in the 
same phase or rather so sorry it's vi we are in the same phase so in this particular structure in circuit 2 when ac this ac passes through resistor ac passes through the resistor there will be no phase difference as soon as it passes through the condenser C an output voltage phase difference of an output voltage of phase difference of pi by 2 is produced so simply this has to lie between the 0 and pi by 2 the value of Sigma where this can be equal to this pi by 2 okay or it is directly 0 so here our answer is 0 and this respective this in the first case it is obviously zero and in the second case this condenser is uh, phase difference must lie between zero to five so that is in this area okay now we can proceed to the next question in this question they have given for the given set of equations they have given two three equations which one of the segment is correct so it's all about this mathematical question about consistency. So remember that these three are same. So what we can write, we can write in a matrix format. So if we just write it in a matrix form, so what we can get 1, 1, 0. The first equation doesn't have Z. The second equation doesn't have X. And this one doesn't have Y. So this one is a struct. So we can solve it and find the determinant value. Okay for this and this will be simply can be written as 1 1 minus 0 0 1 1 minus 0 so the value is 2 not equal to 0 so therefore the given equations are consistent as the given system is consistent plus single non-trivial solution exist this is the format so in this case we can say that our answer is v all the v and d are very close but in this case the answer which is right is answer number b okay now we can proceed to the next question the next question is again a mathematical question and I'm going to use a different color again. Okay, let me try with this one. Okay, the tangent. The tangent of the line x square plus xy plus 5 equal to 0 at 1 comma 1 is represented by which of these? So it's very easy. So you only need to just solve this structure and differentiating. So you just need to differentiate this function with respect to x. This is 2x plus x dy dx plus y equal to 0. Okay. So here we can find dy dx as minus y minus 2x by x. And putting the value at 1 comma 1, we get it minus 1 minus 2. So this is minus 3. Okay. Now, the required tangent equation is, seems to be a very easy question which they have given. y minus 1, x minus 1. So this is minus 3, y minus 1, and x minus 1. So just equating, we can get that y equal to minus 3x plus 4. y equal to minus 3x plus 4. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. Now I will proceed to the next question. This question is about... A circuit again okay so in this RC circuit the capacitor was charged with two different ways okay in two different ways they have charged the capacitor was first charged to 5 volt by moving the toggle switch this is the toggle switch okay so the toggle switch to position P okay and then it was charged to 10 volt double of the previous to position Q that is this okay 
and in the second case the capacitor was directly charged to 10 volts by keeping the toggle switch at the position Q this one is Q okay so either first P 5 volts and then Q 10 volts or directly go to Q to 10 volts assuming the capacitor is to be ideal which of the following statement is correct so that here the in order to identify when a capacitor is charged amount of heat dissipated in the wire is same as energy stored in the capacitor remember that amount of heat so the amount of heat dissipated in the wire is nothing but equal to the energy stored in the capacitor okay so therefore energy dissipated in the first case is u1 if we take half c 5 square plus half c and the difference is 10 minus 5 square so it is half c and this is 50 c so this is 25 c that's it and in the second case u2 directly if we just take so half c 10 square so this is 100 c by 2 so this one is 50 c so here if we take so u2 is obviously greater than u1 so we can say that option c is the correct the energy distributed for case 1 will be less than the energy distributed in case 2 okay so these are the videos uh, main portions in my next video i will solve some question and if you have any doubt you can get to us anytime remember that okay and hope to see you soon and if you have any doubts please give it, leave it in the comment or contact us in the number given below Thank you.